children, how are you today? In our last session, we did some standing poses and today we will be doing some asanas that you can do on the mat. Are you all ready? Shall we begin? Okay. Now, we will start with some warm-up exercises. We will start with breathing exercise. We will do this three times. We will breathe through the nose and breathe out through the nose. Shall we begin? Right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Now, put your hands on the side of the hips and we will raise the right hand over the head. We will bend the hand like this, bring it back and we will raise the left hand. We will do this repeatedly four times. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, we will give some exercise to our shoulders. We will move clockwise four times. Begin. One, two, three, four. Now we will rotate anti clockwise four times. One, two, three, four. Now, now we will give our neck exercise. We will Rotate clockwise four times. One, two, three, four. Now, anti clockwise. One, two, three, four. Now, relax. This ends our warm up exercise. Okay, now we'll move on to our first posture which will be doing the Dandasana. This is the basic sitting pose for all bands. Stretch your leg, join your knees, join your hips and join your big toes together and stretch. Now put your hand, palms on the side and Stretch your elbow with your back straight and hold till the count four. One, two, three, four. Relax. This posture helps us to improve our sitting positions and also tones our spinal cord and legs muscles. We'll move on to our Second asana, which is called Padmasana. For this, we will be sitting in a Dandasana and we lift our right leg, holding it with our hands, the ankle. We'll put them on our high thighs, left thigh. We will lift the other left leg, holding it, and we will be sitting. Hmm. So we get the Padmasana. Let's fold together the thumb and the index finger together in the Jnana Mudra Asana. Join this and straight your hands and let's count with the count of four. One, two, three, four. This pose is also called the Lotus Pose and this helps us refresh our body and makes our mind alert. It also practicing this will improve our knees, hips and ankle. Let's come to the Danda Asana again. Now from here we will be doing the Parvat Asana. This Asana is also called the Mountain Pose. Start sitting again with the Padma Asana. Stretch your hands, lock your fingers, thumb them out and we are going to stretch over our head like this straight, straight, straight and we are going to 
Say, stay like this until four counts. One, two, three, four. Make sure you don't bend your elbow. Again, come back slowly in the same Padmasana and relax. Come back again to Danda Asana. Okay. So we come back again to relax position and we hope you enjoy this session. Eat healthy, get fit and keep practicing these asanas. Until next time, we bring you with more asanas. See you then. Bye.